So I'm a game developer first and foremost. And um, I am always going to err on the side of the game developer for making changes to the game as the games go over time. And I'm absolutely in, in the camp of game developers know better than the players because nine times out of ten, people, it's great to have opinions. It's, it's awesome to have opinions. And sometimes those opinions are valid. Um, but sometimes they're just opinions. And what I've seen in game development over the years is that I think the number one thing I always love to hear is when people complain about, they nerfed my class. No, they didn't. They made... A necessary change for the longevity of the game there's there's when you have hundreds of thousands of people playing a game and in some case millions of people playing a game there's decisions that happen behind the scenes because of data and the average gamer doesn't have access to that data and so when I hear the nerf conversation I always chuckle because that's that's human beings naturally resist change we don't like it. It doesn't matter what it is. If someone changes my coffee recipe, I'm upset. I don't like that because I'm accustomed to the way that my coffee tastes. And that may be enough to make me switch coffee brands. That's a legitimate thing. Um, however, I don't know why they changed their coffee. It could be because the coffee bean that they used to use is no longer available because of a bug infestation that wiped out. This is a legitimate thing that's going on in Italy right now where the um, there's a, a I can't remember what the terminology they use for it, but it's essentially it's a bug plague that only happens once every three or four generations or something and it's coming through and it's wiping out these thousand year old olive oil trees. And so it's decimating the olive oil production industry in Italy. Now, what is that going to do to worldwide olive oil consumption? Well, that means that businesses that have traditionally been selling olive oil for years and years and years and years and years are either going to go out of business or they're going to have to change their recipe and use lesser quality olives or they're going to have to use olives from another source to continue to producing olive oil. What that's going to do is it's going to change the recipe. It's going to change the flavor. The average consumer who loves that olive oil, who's drank that olive oil, used that olive oil for decades, is going to get the new generation of olive oil. There's the buff. I had to do... Um, that's what I was looking for. Um, they're going to get upset because they changed my olive oil. They don't consider the, the reason why that olive oil recipe changed. All they know is my olive oil changed. I don't like the flavor anymore. And they get mad, and they make a ranty post on the internet. Have a good one. That's not to say that that's what happens in every case, but I'm using that as an example to See say... You later. In my experience as a game developer, the vast majority of time balance changes have been made to games is because there are a million things going on behind the scenes that the average gamer doesn't have a clue about because they just don't work in game dev. They're a, they're a, there's a barrier between game development and game consumption. Sorry to rant, but the, the, the whole... When I see someone talk about balance or nerfs, it always triggers me a little bit, because it's like, come on now, there's, there's a reason the changes are being made. And that's not to say that those changes are the right things, but it's always better to have a conversation about it rather than a knee-jerk reaction of, I don't trust this company, because... They, they changed my ranger class. I'm not saying that was you, Munster. I'm saying that that's what I typically see when I go to a forum and I see people, like, rant about change or balance or nerfs. So you, you spark the conversation, which I probably need to mark down on a timestamp. That's probably a great clip to pull out for a YouTube video. How far in are we? 50 minutes in? 